Hello, my friends. How are you doing? Today, I'm going to show you how to make colors pop so your photos look amazing. My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer sharing the best industry secrets with you. So follow my channel for free. So what we are going to do this time is, as you can see here, we will make the colors more intense. Also, we will adjust the background so the orange has more warmth in it and the blue here has a nicer, cooler blue so it gives a better contrast to the portrait in the foreground but also to the orange light in the background. All right, so how are we going to do this? Now, here is the first big trick that you want to learn. Go down here to adjustments and create a vibrance adjustment. In there, you find two different settings. One is vibrance, which will push up the colors, but leave the skin colors intact. So that's helpful that this will address skin colors separately. And what we want to do here is to actually push this down to desaturate the skin colors and then push up saturation. Saturation pushes up all colors equally. And so you can see when we push this up, we get really nice intense colors while the skin colors actually stay in check. All right, so this is the first step. Now, here is the second step. Like I said, in the background, we want to have this orange warmer and this blue cooler. So we are going to create an adjustment for selective color. And what we're going to do here is we have the channel red and we have the channel cyan. So this is what we want to edit. Go to the red channel, push down the cyan a little bit, push up the magenta and push up the yellow a little bit. And you can see how now we have this nice orange in the background. Look, if I turn it on and off, this gives us a nice orange in the background. Now we want to switch over to address the blue here. So go down to cyan. And what you want to do is to push in cyan and then reduce the magenta. As you can see here now, it turns green and then reduce the yellow. And this will turn it into a nice magenta blue. So pretty cool. Uh, sorry, not magenta blue, cyan blue. That's where we want to go. Okay, now when you look at the face, the skin color looks a little bit iffy. We want to adjust that. So we are going to create an adjustment for HSL this time. Click on the yellow dot here, click on the picker next to it, and then look at one point where you have a medium face color, like for example, here on the nose, like so. So this adjusts this area. And then you want to push the saturation down a little bit. Use your eyes for this uh, to see, okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so just a little bit desaturation in the skin colors. And here is the last trick that is really helpful. Go to live filters and then to depth of field. Now you want to make sure that this live filter is on its own layer and not a child layer of another adjustment because then it is not going to work. So click and drag this up here like so. Click down here, you see it says preserve alpha. Click on that so you don't get strange edges around your image and then you want to push up the radius just a tiny bit. One pixel is okay to make the outer areas of your picture a little bit blurry, just a tiny hint smoother. And then the clarity in the center, that's here where the face is, you want to push this up a little bit. Let's go with 0.4, for example. And this makes the middle a little bit clearer. And now if I duplicate our original picture and put it on top, you can see the difference from before and after. Look at how nice of a contrast. We have the nice color that's going on here of the color theory, how clear the face now is and everything looks nicer and the colors pop. That's already everything for today. If you enjoy my tutorial, maybe join my channel, maybe also join my Facebook group. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Let's Bye. Go.